after a frustrating junior year, not making it into the college football playoff for the third year in a row, I was strongly contemplating declaring myself for the NFL draft. However, after skipping the Sugar Bowl to prevent injury, my Asian mother was not happy with me at all. Chinese families don't skip out on any chances to add trophies to the cabinet. She felt that because I had been independent for so long, I forgot about what my heritage values. I had already let her down once by transferring away from Stanford to Florida, so I wasn't going to let her down again. So I decided to stay in school and return to Florida for my senior year. My mom, however, was not the only reason why I returned. Heading into the season, preseason polls have us ranked number one in the country, highlighted by our star-studded defense led by Warren Sapp's nephew, Tyreek Sapp. Practicing against this defense all of offseason only made me a better player as every player felt like they could be drafted into the NFL next year. The offense was also projected to take a leap as I am surrounded with NFL talent all over the field. My three wide receivers and two tight ends all making strides over the offseason. Trevor Etienne, Travis Etienne's little brother, is also my starting running back, which meant that going into my fourth year, I had the system down, the playbook, and the personnel. We are once again ranked number one in the Heisman race as I look to 3 P. but more importantly, it was time to start our road to making the college football playoff against Georgia Southern. I struggled early in this one. I threw a terrible pick to start the game. It was tied 14-14 heading into the end of the second quarter. This was not a good luck for the number one team in the nation. But I break the tension in the stadium with a deep bump to my new number one bird who's learned a lot from Henderson last year being the number two. We finished the drive off with a rushing touchdown to help us take the lead. But the struggles continue as I come out of half out of sorts with a fumble on the option play. Gator fans are quiet right now as they did not expect this at all. The very next drive, I throw yet another interception. This is a terrible showing for the number one team in the nation. We are getting showered by booze in the swamp. We finally cross midfield here and after a big drop by Burke, it is third and 21. We need to make a play, but I get sacked. Bad football all around by the Gators offense and we have to settle for a field goal. We are on the verge of getting upset in our first game of our senior season. I I am itching on the sidelines. I just want one more chance at the ball. But the defense comes through, they force a punt, and they get me a chance to survive this horror show with 47 seconds left in the fourth. First and 10. Everybody looks like they're dropping back, so I'm rolling out to my right. I see open field ahead. I think about going out of bounds, but we got timeouts in hand. Second play of the drives. Georgia Southern still playing the deep ball, so we're rolling out to our right again, and we're doing the same exact thing. Two plays in a row, but this time I get out of bounds. 32 seconds left. I see Georgia Southern playing QB contain. So I work outside the numbers to my boy Dejon Reynolds and then I come back on the same side to my boy Burr to set up a field goal with 15 seconds left can the kicker hit it it's good we survive a scare at home to start the year 1-0 and surprisingly the voters for once gave us the benefit of the doubt we lost 4 voters but I was definitely expecting us to drop especially with how racist this committee was last year week 2 against North Texas and the struggles continue in the 4th quarter we are down by 3 we should never be in this situation alright coach calls a read option and I pull the ball I get a good crack block by my receiver and I'm outside and that safety wants no part in tackling me all the way touchdown Gators that play energized the crowd and gave us momentum as defense gets a stop and now we have a chance to ice the game a first down wins it coach Napier calls another read option and I pull it again spin around what a move right there and then I hit the stiff arm to finish the run to end the game against North Texas are right, we survive yet another scare we start the year with two narrow wins against unranked opponents which brings us to our first away game of the year at Arkansas it is also our first SEC game and we keep struggling as I underthrow the post route up the middle for yet another interception I can feel my draft stock falling as we speak as our accuracy is now being put in question and we are holding the ball for way too long as I take a 16 yard sack third and 26 once again I throw a ball off target Do not know what I was looking at there and coach opts to punt the ball not putting faith in me as I have showed him absolutely nothing for him to trust so now we are in real dangerous one Arkansas first down wins it defense brings it to third and seven Moses drops back looks deep Touchdown, Arkansas. And the Razorbacks upset the number one team in the country. Real college fans and sports better saw this upset coming as myself and the entire team have been struggling to start my senior year. This loss drops us all the way down to number seven. But I have to be better if I want to be a first round pick this year. I need to be showing better film to the NFL team. And what better way to rebound than to go back home. My first game back at Tennessee in the state where I grew up and played my high school ball. This is the first college game that my mom was going to come watch. And I wanted to perform.
form as the last time she came to my football game we lost the high school championship game in this same exact stadium all my old friends in high school that go to Tennessee high school teachers and outside family members also traveled up to Knoxville to come see me play this to me was the biggest game of my career bigger than any bowl that I've played any championships that I've won and I wanted to have the best game of my life first drive is underway and I just start picking apart the defense giving what the defense takes me not doing anything overly aggressive mixing in a run here and there third and ten I throw the deep out right on the money but it is short of the first down it is now fourth and two and coach opts to go for it he knows how big this game is for our team we need to come out aggressive Tennessee stacking up the middle looking for the pass so I take off with my legs the DB steps up to meet me oh, we get the first down I start yelling at the refs immediately after the play and we draw the flag I felt his glove on my forehead all right 15 yard face mask puts us on the goal line and we end the drive out with another read option touchdown hey 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 defense also came out aggressive with tackles for losses and sacks. They're playing for their QB and they force a three and out, which leads to first and ten. We run a boot slide and I find Burke wide open for a huge game, which moves us all the way down to the goal line. And we get our second rushing touchdown to go up 14-0. My mom's loving it. Defense comes out with another big tackle right on the mark. They get another stop on third and short and I take full advantage. Driving all the way down the field for my third rushing touchdown on the day. Tennessee then scores two unanswered touchdowns, which brings us to fourth and goal. I don't see any receivers open in the end zone, so I take off yet again. And you'd think Tennessee would learn their lesson, but no. I run in for my fourth rushing touchdown of the day. We are stomping all over the balls right now, back at home. Two minutes and 16 seconds left to ice the game. We shed off the tackle. Great blockers up the field. He can't touch me. And it's a race to the end zone. Who's faster than the Chinese man from Tennessee? 84 yard touchdown run. What a return for the Chinese man. Five rushing touchdowns away at home. My friends and family can't believe it and that was a statement game for us right there as we show why coach Heifel should have recruited me coming out of high school my mom was really happy with my performance as well but she also was kind of disappointed that I didn't throw a passing touchdown she was on the phone saying if you do all that running you might as well run track there's just nothing I can do to satisfy her but nevertheless that was my favorite college win of my career and was also a huge win for our season as it propels us back up to fifth right outside of the top four after the big win we play Kentucky who's the sole reason that we didn't make the playoff last year but things are different this time around as we have learned from our experience and we destroy them 45 to 21 in front of the swamp we just followed up with a home game against LSU and teams have not been able to figure out this read option we have way too many offensive weapons that need to be covered I take it all the way for another long rushing touchdown first and 10 on the next drive he got hoodwinked he got bamboozled he got led astray he's not making the NFL I see one-on-one -on -one coverage so I go deep Boom shot 56 yard touchdown to Marcus Burke and we blow out the Tigers at home 42 to 23 but that moves us down the pole oh god I've seen this too many times ladies and gentlemen I can already smell it I might need to start setting up the ALM protests a little earlier than usual but after killing Vanderbilt away and defending the swamp against Mizzou we go down another spot I I'm honestly not surprised at this point this committee's like FIFA all right there's some mass corruption going on but we have a game that could decide our college football fate right here game of the week against number six Georgia the highest ranked one loss team their defense is still one of the best in the nation and on the offensive end they have an improved van de Griff. I'm hungry to make the playoff I deserve to be in the playoff I did not force off my NFL dreams for a year to not make the playoff and whoever loses this game was probably not gonna make the so we must play at a high level. I high point a ball right on the money. But Dejon Reynolds could not come down with it, which leads us to fourth down. Coach wants to kick the field goal, but I beg coach to go for this. I love the look that the Georgia defense was showing. I felt like I could exploit the seams. And what do you know? ETN right up the seam. Diving catch for the touchdown. I repay Coach Napier's trust. Defense then forces a punt. We are looking like a team hungry to make the playoff. We look like we want it more, all right, as coach calls a screen pass. Great blocks down the field. Trevor ETN. ETN in for his second touchdown of the day. 17-10 here in the third quarter. Georgia's been setting a spot all game. But it doesn't matter as he gets his ankles wrong. His ankle snap. Which leads us two yards away from the end zone. And Georgia's defense does a nice job of stopping us. Preventing us from getting a first down or a touchdown. Fourth and one. We did not come all the way down to kick field goals. We snapped the ball. I'm buying time for my receivers. And then I high point it to Reynolds. A clutch high point ball there. That'll be some great film for the NFL scouts. And speaking of great film, why not flash the running ability one more time all the way 
Touchdown, Gators! We run the Bulldogs out of Jacksonville. Chomp, chomp, chomp! As we win 31 to 10, dominating Georgia for the second year in a row. And we move up to number five in the nation, right outside of the top four once again. And looking at the rankings, there are four undefeated teams that stand in our way. Three of them play a ranked opponent this week. So we must handle Appalachian State. This could be our chance to get back into the top four. First and ten, we run our signature read option. Great job by the running back, blowing out his blocker. Wide receivers giving me great blocks too. And I go all the way for yet another rushing touchdown. Third and 12 late in the first again. And what do you know? I'm taking off over the Florida logo. I go 29-yard run. Which we cap up with our second rushing touchdown. Another one. And if teams are not going to guard the run, we're going to keep running on them. As we end up running for 259 yards on the ground. And five rushing touchdowns. Seven touchdowns total. Blowing out Appalachian State 49-24. to And we are now fourth in the nation. Ohio State and Georgia Tech both drop games. Two lost Clemson leaps over us, but we are now in a playoff spot. And so all we need to do is retain this position as we are up against South Carolina. Middle of the third quarter, you know what's coming. Another read option pull. This Florida rush offense is dangerous as we defend the swamp against the Gamecocks. Gator fans can't contain their excitement as they can smell the playoff right around the corner. We also remain as the number one Heisman candidate. And with all the rushing touchdowns, fans are starting to compare me to Tim Tebow. Now we head into a two-week buy, which is a scary time to have two buys in a row. Because you never know what these voters will do. They will find any reason to discredit the one Chinese QB in college. But after a nice two-week break, we move up to number two! Michigan is now the number one team, followed by Oregon at three and Georgia Tech back at four. As we head into our final game of the year at Florida State. This top four has been shuffling all year around, so we cannot afford to slip up. 14-7 here in the second quarter. I throw a nice crossbody throw all the way to Dejan Reynolds, who spins off the first defender and trucks the second defender for a nice game. Later on in the drive, I'm rolling back out to my right, throwing back out to my left to our fifth receiver, Aaron Gray, for the touchdown. We attack over the air and run up the scoreboard against Florida State, which concludes our final regular season game in our college career. Your 11-1 and Gators are currently number two in the polls, as it is now Ohio State, Florida, UNC, and Penn State in the running with Michigan dropping out. So now it is our final game that can change the ranking. SEC championship game. We play a rematch against Texas A&M. A win gets us both another SEC championship and a college football playoff berth. A&M starts out ultra aggressive going for it on fourth and three. Quarterback drops back. He's throwing. He's looking deep. We have two guys over there for the PBU for turnover on downs. And the back-to-back -back Heisman winner, the only Chinese QB in college football, comes out razor sharp. Three passes is all it takes to get us on first and goal and we run in for the touchdown to open the SEC championship game. And I'm back on offense third and two and Tyreek Sapp gets there to force the ball out for a fumble. Wilson recovers. We follow up with one completion. Make that two completions. Make that three completions into the end zone. We're a 14-0 lead in the championship game. Number one defense in the nation back on the field laying the hammer on third down. They want to lock in that playoff spot. They hold AM to just three points. Second and ten I take off looking for more points before halftime. But I get rocked on this hit and I lose the ball. Our first mistake of the game ends up costing us a field goal to make it a one possession game going into the second half. As teams have been watching film focusing on the run I had to start threading passes in between tight windows. That is exactly what I do on this drive as I fake the screen pass and I hit the street which ends the drive with a passing touchdown to my tight end as we head into the fourth up 21 to 6. On second and four here I'm rolling to my right. I see my tight end has a step so I throw it up right on the money for 47 yards which ends off with a field goal to put us up three possessions. But it is our defense that steals the show holding a and to only six points as they force another turnover on down. This is exactly what I transferred to Florida for to win big games, play with NFL talent and make the college football playoff as we dominate the SEC championship game 38 to 6 back to back SEC champions and that wasn't it for hardware as we dominate the Heisman vote back to back to back Heismans for the Chinese QB we got 700
156 first place votes, leading a list of five QBs, and we once again win the Triple Crown with the Maxwell, the Walter Camp, and the O'Brien. Our right tackle wins the Outland as the best O-lineman. We also had the two best pass rushers in the nation in Boone and McClellan. The best linebacker in Shamar James. And we had three runner-ups for the Thorpe Award, and four of the top six finalists, all from Florida. But now is the big moment, the college football playoff reveal, and the results have been announced. The number one team in the nation is the Florida Gators, followed by UNC, Ohio State, and Penn State. We have finally made the college football playoff. It took us four years, but we did not make it just to make it. We came here for one goal, and that is to win the national championship for my mom, and the road to the national championship game will start against Penn State. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. I will be giving away a million